Hello and welcome to this little tutorial on the Godot engine. In this little tutorial I'll be showing you how you can look further into the workings of your program. Uh, I'll just dive a little bit further into looking at the states of your variables and what the values may be looking or how they may look while the program is running. So I already have the engine up and running right here. This is version 3.0.5 of the engine and I already have this little project loaded up. So here for example I have some GD script right here. I have the class test right here and it has all of these member variables here as well as a member function but we'll ignore this for a little bit and we're going to mainly focus on this part right here. So usually when you run your game you may be interested in what's going on underneath the hood. Sometimes you can't look at what variables, the states of what variables or whatever, or at least it's pretty difficult to do that. But here I'll show you how you may look at the states. So here let's first run the program right here. So now we got the thing going. Now let's go down here to the debugger pane and then we pause the game right there. The next Let's see here. Well, yeah, we have all that stuff, but we'll in this video we'll just go with this. So we'll then move into one of the uh, functions. Let's see here. Yeah, well, currently it's in the process function. But yeah, we click on one of these buttons. This one goes into the function, you know, stepping into it. This one will step over it. And as you can see right here, we have the states of these functions states of these functions, states of these values, and all that stuff. So here further in the code, I made an instance of the test class. So we have this variable right here called random test. Now we can actually look into that and see what are the values in this instance, this object, as the program is running. So we just go over to the locals right in here, and we also have the members. So we just go into here, and now we've found the random test object. So what next we do is we go over to this one right here, and we click on that, and then we look in the inspector pane. And we have what here, we just expand that, and now we can see the values of all of this. Now we can see how this is, in a sense, is mapped. So we go from this to where we have, you know, some of these values, and then we go over to here where we have this object and then finally we go over to here and we see how they're are populated so for instance the foo variable right here is now this value right here and of course the my vector value right here is now this value right here so isn't that a nice little thing, so that whenever you load up some... Yeah, and this is just with a simple little uh, class right here. This is just a simple little object right here. Just think of what else you can do. You can go into other objects. Yeah, this is not just... Yeah, you can, yeah, it's not just... You can go with other objects as well. So, for instance, this one is... This is just a uh, line vector, or this is a, well, it has vectors, but this is just a line object, which it describes this. You can go into that as well. You can see, you know, the points, the width of it. If you have a gradient, you can look into that too. So here, let's, so for instance, the point values which make up these lines, you can go into that. So as we can see, you know, it's a line 2D. We can go in there, and you can see all of these, well, we, let's expand these, so it says, you know, it has a ray of 5, but you can also see all of the vectors of those points. So right here, right here, and right here, which describes the points here, 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 you know, and it goes, and you can see all of that as well. So you can go through that. You can look at those states as well. So this is a nice little, so this is a nice little way of seeing how your program is running without having to put in say a lot of print value or print statements or I don't know maybe putting in a lot of breakpoints you don't really have to do all that or at least not always it may get a little complicated in there such that you can't really see it 
such that you can't really see the states of those objects. But still, well, yeah, this can really help in debugging. So, for instance, maybe say a value. So, for instance, notice how these curves are really far out there, and you may be wondering, well, why is it that way? Well, all you need to do is just try and find it. All you need to do is just look for those values. So, here's an array like that, and then so, and then we have a curve right here, and a draw right here, and you can actually look into those. So we go back to there, and there's that. So here, let's uh, let's see if I can bring that up. Hmm. And now, now I have an S curve. So now I've found the curve that is the curve due d, which describes this. So in the code, this is the, va the variable curve. Then I just come down here once again to my members, and it says it's this object. Then I come over here, to this object right here. And then it tells me many of those states. So for instance, bake interval, it's this. Let's see here. Let's see if we can find that. Hmm. So it has all of this stuff right here. Then again, even if we couldn't find it. Even if we couldn't. Yeah, now that's another thing with that. Sometimes it can't be found. Nevertheless, though, you can still use a break statement. So we can come up to, let's see here. So how about we first stop that and even, yeah, even if you can't look at all of the states, you can look at some of them or you may have to tweak it a little. Now, what I mean by that is, say, for instance, we wanted to find the, the points that make up this variable, the curved bake points. So we want to look at that. So you may be wondering, how is it that we could do that? Well, another one of the ways you can do is putting in a break statement, or more of a break point. So, and that's really what it is. It is a statement, a break, or, here, let me just type it out. There. Now, when the code gets this point, it will stop, and we can then look into it even further. So we can look at that, we can, well here, let me just show it to you. So just go right here, and then now it has stopped. Now it's gone, now it has come to that break statement. And now we can look at the state of that. So we have it right here. So we were looking at this curve right here, you know, inspecting it, then we can just go over here, go over to that, and then now we can see all of the vectors that make up that curve. Now we can see all of those little parts right there. And this can help a little bit more in determining maybe say, I don't know, where something goes wrong, or at least looking at the state of it in a finer detail. And then after that, we can just, you know, once we say, okay, yeah, I, I like that. I like how that looks. So then you just go with that, and then it goes on. Let me just do this. And now it just goes on to the demo. And now we can see how this is drawn, or more of the state of it, the curves, how they all look through this. Well, anyway, I... Well, anyway, I hope this has been a, let me just stop that, I hope this has been a uh, nice little video for you, I hope it's been informative, um, if so, then uh, I've done my job, so all I can say is, goodbye.